in this first tutorial we will be learning sketcher commands so start with new then model select model ok to start sketch environment click on insert sketch in task environment click on sketch in start environment then select the plane on which plane you want to sketch say click on ok by default profile command is active we will start with this profile command if you want to do a pan hold down shift button press the scroll button and drag the mouse so that will make it pan so there are uh, two input methods are there coordinate mode and parameter mode so you want to create it by parameter mode so we will click it on parameter mode so in parameter mode you can give the length and angle start with first point you can see here the information select the first point so whatever the message nx want to give it to you it will write in this area select the first point give the direction where you want to go and you can adjust your mouse to get the desired length or you can key in also desired length suppose I want 130 so I will just click there so line of 130 is created so you don't have to give the dimension in NX8 it will come automatically then again adjust the length suppose I want a line of 90 length in 90 angle just click there so line will be created suppose I want to key some length so suppose I want a line of 50 so I can also key in 50 then press enter you can change the angle or you just have to press enter again to create the line so in this way also you can create the la line just give the length enter and again you can change the angle or you just enter press enter so that line will be created or you can also adjust the length using mouse so whatever length you want I want 25 in 20 to 70 degree angle so in this way this object is created to come out you can just press scroll button once so that command will stop but profile command is still running if you want to stop using profile command press scroll button again so it will stop using the profile command also or you can adjust the position of the dimension so it will be visible properly by double clicking you can change the dimension also if you want to change this letter you can change it by double clicking on it you can adjust the dimension by clicking uh, holding first button on it and dragging it at a desired position suppose I don't want this so just drag first mouse button click first mouse button and drag it and press delete on the keyboard so it will delete the object suppose profile give the first point choose the length suppose here I want to draw arc then you can switch to arc mode object type arc and here you can give the radius how much you want suppose I want to radius of 40 and sweep, sweep angle is 180 so just I will press enter and I will have to click here so it has been created then in this way you can use the arc option from profile command you can also to come out of the command you can also use the escape button on the keyboard so that way also you can come out of the command so just press down the first mouse button drag it after selection delete it so in this way you can use the profile command then line command can be used in the same way only this line command creates only line and that will be a single line so again you will have to give a start point and length so you by pressing control control z you can undo it so if i want to create a line in some angle then give the line command click on the line click first point then give the length enter then angle I want line in 30 angle so just click on that so it will show you the angle then to come out 
press scroll button then in this way the is showing is the angle you can change the angle also suppose I want the line in 60 degree so it will be drawn in 60 degree you can undo by control Z so in this way you can cre create inclined line you can create a straight line then next is arc so there are two ma arc methods arc by three point and arc by center and end point three point method you have to click three points give first point then second point and third point or you can also give the radius there I want arc of 90 so you can control the position how much big you want it and just click there so it will create arc you can zoom fit to see all the drawing so it will automatically dimension the reference point and all those things so in this way you can create a arc of three point arc arc give first point second point third point so in this way also you can create you can change the parameter later on then arc next is arc by center and end point so I will just pan it holding down shift and drag shift and scroll button then give the center point give the radius point and give the sweep angle so in this way you can create a arc by giving center and end points you can create the arc by giving values also suppose arc by center and end point give the center point then give the radius suppose radius is 100 enter sweep angle is 0 then you have to give radius will be the same just press enter and sweep angle is 120 degrees suppose so and click there so side on which side you want click there so it will be created like that again we will try it arc by center give the center point give the radius enter sweep angle 0 then click then again radius is 100 just enter sweep angle of 120 and click so in this way you can create by giving parameters also then next is circle click on circle give the center point and give the radius suppose 100 is the diameter give the diameter 100 is the diameter so the uh, circle of 100 diameter will be created circle center point click so it will create a circle of 100 it is it is 6 diameter it has created suppose I don't want this circle so in this way you can create the circle if you want to give a dimension of radius from here you can give the radius dimension click on the circle go outside 50 enter click outside click scroll to come out so in this way you can give radius also you can change the radius also so you can add radius parameter to it if required so in this way you can create circle give center point and give the diameter it will be created then you can create circle by three points suppose I want a circle touching three points suppose I have a triangle I will create one triangle suppose 100 length angle is 0 I will click I will use profile command so I will get a continuous line so on angle uh, length is again 100 enter angle is suppose 120 degree so I will create a equilateral triangle press scroll to come out again press call to come out suppose I want a circle you can zoom it by rotating your scroll button towards user for zoom plus and towards monitor for zoom minus suppose I want a circle which will pass through these three midpoints so I will take circle then three point then select the midpoint here here is the midpoint 
so it is showing by that square box is coming there so that is the midpoint and here also that symbol midpoint symbol is also displayed so click on that or here or from here also you can select it midpoint then again midpoint and again mid again midpoint so in this way you can create a circle passing through three points so or we can create it by passing through these three points end point end point and end point so in this way you can create a circle you can zoom fit by pressing here so in this way you can create a circle passing through three end points press escape then next is fillet suppose uh, before that we will see rectangle for rectangle also you can give the parameter make the parameter mode on then click on first point then give the width how much width you want suppose I want width of 70 and height of 40 just click there and click so it will create rectangle of that size so you can create rectangle by three point also you will see that three point by three point click first point then second point and third point or you can give width height and angle also so in that way that rectangle will be created by three point then you can create rectangle from center also give the center point then give the width 102 and give the height 55 so in this way that rectangle will be created zoom fit to see the full rectangle so in this way you can create rectangle passing through center from the center suppose I have this rectangle by holding down shift and scroll button you can pan then uh, using fillet I can fillet between two corners suppose I first corner second first line second line then give the radius I want 20 enter so a uh, fillet will be created of 20 radius if you don't want to trim the lines you can s uh, select here fillet method and trim then give the radius 20 then select on click on two lines so fillet will be created without trimming the lines the next is chamfer click on chamfer then select first line select second line then specify the point where you want the chamfer so in this way you can uh, here you can change the dimension chamfer here I want a chamfer of suppose 20 press enter then select first line second line so it will be automatically created chamfer I want chamfer of 25 just key in the value of 25 click on two lines so it will be created automatically close to come out undo you can undo from here also and you can redo from here if you want to bring it back undo to cancel 